So we're here today as we are uh, every April 20, 28th in uh, recognition of workers who have been uh, injured or killed on the job. One of the reasons we're at Vincent Massey Park is because of its proximity to uh, the Heron Road Bridge, which uh, for those that aren't aware, collapsed on August 10th, 1966, uh, killing nine people. That was a huge thing at the time in our city, hundreds of people rushing to try and help out. So a monument was erected here in 1984 by the Canadian Labour Congress uh, to, to recognize again those workers that have been uh, injured or who have been killed as a direct result of the workplace throughout the year. A number of years ago, we started to uh, created this path of flags that's uh, running to my right. Uh, each one of those flags uh, represents a worker who has died across the country. Uh, each year it's uh, around a thousand, sometimes it's a few less, sometimes it's a few more, um, but it averages about a thousand workers across this country that are uh, killed each year as a direct result of the workplace. That's more than four workers every single workday in the country that go to work and don't come home. This year has been a horrible year for Ottawa. We have had three local deaths that have affected everyone. Um, some of those families are here today to honour the, the fallen ones. For every worker that dies each year, there's at least 10 people directly affected. That's over 10,000 people's lives have changed forever. And that's all because they went to work and didn't come home. Um, we've been working for years to try and bring those numbers down. Enforcement of the laws that we have on the books would go miles to making a change. We need a proper criminal investigation when, not, when a worker dies, not just the Ministry of Labour, the police need to get more involved.